We, we uh, recognize the veterans of all of our conflicts. Veterans Day. It's the one official day out of the year when ordinary folks like you and I get the chance to stop and say thank you. Each year, on the 11th day of the 11th month, we pause as a nation to thank you. And if you look at the numbers, there's a lot of people to thank. In its latest report released May of 2010, the Department of Veterans Affairs estimated there were still 2,079,000 World War II veterans living in the country they fought for more than six decades ago. 16,112,566 men and women served during the Second Great War. In the 50s, our nation's focus shifted to Korea. More than 5.7 million Americans were enlisted during that conflict. Today, roughly 2.5 million Korean War veterans are said to be living. A small number compared to the 7,569,000 Vietnam War veterans that currently populate the U.S. The 1990s brought a new era of conflict, Desert Storm. More than 2.3 million were in the service. Nearly all of those who returned home are still alive. Now, during the global war on terror, recent activity duty numbers have hovered around 1.4 million. These numbers, they might surprise you, but what's more amazing is what the numbers represent. Sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, and parents. The brave men and women who answered the call and stood up to protect our freedoms, affording liberty and justice for all. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Brody O'Connell.